Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will uh, take my old, really old uh, Nikkor S, I mean non-AI Nikkor S Auto uh, 1.4 and it's a 50mm and I will show you how you can adjust it to infinity or maybe over infinity um, but um, in case of the infinity is not correct in your lens, uh, how would you actually attempt that? Uh, well, I will show it here, but we need some tools, at least the lens, and uh, just a few tools could be very useful. A something like 2.5 millimeter flathead screwdriver, uh, just it's nothing special. That is a, co a brand called Baco. Um, a, I mean, a one millimeter flathead screwdriver. Just this is just part of a set I bought uh, cheap on the net, which is really fine. Uh, tweezer could be very handy, and maybe a curved uh, trees can also be very handy now we make we need to make some marks uh, and for that it's good to have a very pointy dentist tool um, or you could use this one which I bought on in a modeling scale modeling shop and it's a uh, something called file I scribe or something uh, I will make uh, links in the description. We also need to have a measure tool, which is good. And um, I made myself a, <laughs> a homemade tool to actually unscrew this, uh, the front, the black front ring here, not the shiny one, but the black one here. And uh, to dig into the three screws that sit here, and um, it's just a gasket, and uh, the hole in here, I uh, use a sharp knife to cut away some of the rubber, and it ended up with a diameter here on 55 millimeter or so, and it's just a piece of plywood which I use a hole saw to cut it out and put it in it has a better grip you know we need some a uh, just a cotton butt and we need some nail polish remover or you could use acetone now let's dig into it and uh, see what we can do you see the front ring here should come off quite easy if you have a rubber tool um, it could be maybe maybe the uh, rubber cones can do that but I think they are too small yeah you see it's it's too small for that but it's very useful in other cases now um, so that's why I made this tool and have it on here then you screw counterclockwise so we will screw it and since it's loose you should be able to unscrew it remember um, we will set some mark in here when it's uh, before we continue so this is why i set um, well not really here but it, because i have the index mark here and my infinity mark but um, I unscrew the three screws here with a flathead screwdriver it should not be a problem but since you can you can um, actually you see the holes here it's long holes so it can be very useful uh, in that way of setting a 
mark somewhere. But since, I mean, it's not good to set in on this ring because if I uh, go deeper into the lens and take uh, off this ring, uh, I will lose my position of the, uh, I mean, the correct position of the mark if I set something. So I will just go for the the infinity mark here. And uh, when I take off the focusing ring, I will set a mark in here. So you have your backup of where the precision was before you took it apart. That's important. I have not seen a repair manual for this lens, so I just make my own scratches and marks and whatever it is. So now you see infinity and then you can gently pull off the wiggle it a little. So all for that. It's nothing special, just a ring. So now we are going to actually set marks in here. You see the lens, I mean the focusing has a stop. This bar here, little bracket here, is uh, what makes this stop in one end or the other. So in this, this uh, near end position where the uh, lens assembly is out, outer, more out than, <laughs> um, it's a stop here. And if I turn it, if turn the focusing ring, it will go all the way to this stop here which is infinity so uh, then i set a mark i already set a mark in here because i've been into the lens so i will make a scratch here in line with the index mark that's an important thing to do before take it at a part and I also, up here, set two marks. It will say on the this uh, ring here, where the three screws that we will come to, uh, three lock screws here, is set, and this ring here. Hopefully you can see it, this ring here. <clears throat> so now we know that. The two marks here, which is in line with each other, that's very important. It's your reference mark. So I can take off the, the back lens cap and do some measure. So I measure from the front of this ring here with the three screws sitting in and to the back here. It will say something like um, just screw tighten the screw the lock screw a little and then I can measure here how long is it and we can set this to 16 so we know it would be something like 39.13 in my lens it could be different in your lens um, so we can just set it to there. Block. So now the point is, if I want the the lens uh, block to go closer to the camera, I need to make the adjustment. So what I do is the three screws that sit here, there, and there. I simply loosen them a little, but they can be really tight. That's why I use a nail polish remover or acetone. Um, I don't think isopropyl alcohol doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. So simply add a lot of on each hole where the screw is here and also around the edge 
where you can see there is a kind of a thread. It's not in here, but around the edge here. That's important. Now, since we have done that, um, I can simply dig into my one millimeter flathead screwdriver and loosen, I mean, yeah, loosen it a few turns. That's enough. And uh, the second one, don't unscrew them fully. You will probably miss it. And then the last one. So now they're loose. And the ring, it's actually also loose. So if I want the, the whole lens assembly closer to the camera, I can, uh, if we see what's happened, I cannot go any further. But if I turn the, the ring, this uh, ring here, the front of them, turn it, you see the lens block will go closer. You probably can see it. And I get it, I can get it to even more close. <clears throat> so if I turn uh, counterclockwise, I mean clockwise, I can um, in that way move the, the um, hmm, let's see here, is it possible? I can use my screwdriver here and simply uh, move the inner ring. You see this ring here, I can move that. So, and in that way, move the stop. You can see the stop is here. Uh, no, it's possible. You can see the stop is here. It cannot go any further. So I can just move it. And in that way, get the lens block closer. Or even more. And if it's enough, I mean, there is a limit, of course. So I can move this. And the limit is this ring here, the uh, not this one, not this one, but the other one where where I make a scratch here. It has its limits, so it cannot go any further. So that's the. Um, but maybe it's enough. But you can see here. Here it was in the beginning. So if you look at the back lens element, we can hopefully see how much it moved any further. See? So that's actually a lot um, and maybe enough for you uh, to have the lens more onto infinity or over infinity. So we can actually measure how the stop is and how much it has changed. So the stop is there. And I can just uh, see it was 39.13. So now I can measure. Okay, it's 98.66, 65 or so. So that, that's actually a lot and enough uh, to probably have it more infinity. So now I will go back to where it was uh, before I make any adjustment and set it there since I have my mark here it will uh, the original mark I will just uh, set it back to that and say that's all fine so when you tighten the screws uh, gently tighten them not too much or you can add some nail polish on them and uh, in that way it lock the screws. So now we are back to normal as it was before. Um, that's it actually. So I can add my, my focusing ring and since I have my mark here at infinity 
I just put this on here. So it is on infinity. And that's it. And put in the three screws again. And it's good to have a tweezer. Where does it go here? More easy to to actually work with. Not always easy to work on with the camera directly above. <laughs> that way here. So there, fine. Tighten it good. Just need to put this on here. Um, and then the second screw goes in here. It's really an old lens, but it's really a great lens. It, it, rendered the picture very good and I think it has this uh, thorium coating uh, at least at the back maybe a few other elements like they used to use back then I'm not sure but I think it I mean if you look at the color coding I would think so So there, and then the front ring here, which uh, is easier to unscrew that kind of stuff if you're going a little backward and try to catch the thread. It says click, click, then screw it in. And with this uh, really old, <laughs> I mean, nice tool. It's easy to screw it in. So that's it. Uh, if uh, your lens was not focusing on infinity, it's a way of adjusting the lens. So that's all for me. Hope you can use the info. Bye bye.